In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the external instrument device in Ableton to allow Ableton and Reason to work seamlessly together. We'll be able to route MIDI and audio back and forth between the two programs. While you can achieve some pretty advanced routing that allows for full isolation of all your Reason tracks in Ableton, this video will demonstrate the method on one single track. So the first thing we'll do is open a blank instance of Reason after we open Ableton. Let's create a 14 to 2 mixer and a combinator after that. Hit tab to flip to the back view in Reason and notice that master out of your combinator is by default mapped to the first stereo channel of your mixer and your mixer's master out is by default mapped to the first stereo channel of your hardware interface. This routing occurs automatically and if you ever don't want the automatic routing to occur in Reason hold shift while creating a new device but for our purposes the automatic routing works just fine. Now let's load up a sound in our combinator. We'll just use a factory lead sound here, so let's go with the Moog Mono Synth. Now notice that when we choose our combinator track in our sequencer window down here, and we play a key, our meter in reason indicates that there should be audio playing. The problem is that Ableton is our master device and Reason is our slave device and we haven't yet routed our audio from Reason to Ableton. This is where the external instrument device in Ableton comes in. So let's flip over to our Ableton instance. The external instrument plugin is located in our live devices menu under instruments and it is applied to a MIDI track in Ableton. This device will allow us to send MIDI to a given device in Reason and receive audio from a given source in Reason. So let's select our MIDI 2 as Reason, and then let's select the Combinator 1 device specifically from the next dropdown. Now let's tell it where to get the audio from. Remember our audio was going from the Combinator to the Mixer to the hardware device, 1 and 2 in on the hardware device. So that's our first option here, 1, 2, mix left, mix right. 90% of your problems that arise in digital audio workstations and in fact with audio in general arise from routing issues. So be aware of routing from the beginning and you'll uh, have a leg up. Okay, now notice when we play a key in our sequencer window, we now have audio. What's great is that from this point on, if we want, we can work exclusively out of Ableton uh, for our sequencing. Double click on your MIDI track to add a quick clip enable the little headphone icon, and notice that we can trigger our Reason sounds from the Ableton sequencer, since that track is sending MIDI to Reason and receiving audio from Reason. I hope you found this video helpful. Check out lynchaudio.com for more free audio resources and tutorials to come.